Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant, and this is Everspace. Now, it's a game that is currently doing the rounds on Kickstarter. They're trying to get their funding goal, and they certainly have a good product in hand here. Now, I don't normally talk about Kickstarter games, so please don't think I'm promoting this product or endorsing it. I'm not doing either. I know as much about this game as you do, or as you will do once you've watched this video, and I certainly haven't played it. But what I do know is that it does look very good from the proposed video, and I think the space genre is certainly make, starting to make a comeback, and the genre deserves every chance it can get. So what exactly is Everspace? Well, it is a 3D shooter, it's very much an arcadey type game, they stress that over and over, but it's also a roguelike, meaning that you have to progress through various sectors, and upon death, you will be returned to the beginning. Now, I really do like roguelikes, and this one has a few little added extras. Notably that as you progress through the game you gain updates and you get to keep these updates when you die Meaning all your ship can be upgraded you can get upgraded weapons making it that much bit easier and that much better as you go through the second and third and fourth and various other Playthroughs this also means that each time you play the game it will be different now You could see there the guy was mining some asteroids that is something else you can do you can collect resources and that is for repairs and for upgrades the, sh the game has a good damage model for ships so you're not just limited to a health bar but damage is represented on the ship as well as it affects your weapons and ships performance now some of these environments whilst purely fantasy are absolutely gorgeous there's no denying that the game of course does support VR as well the game also includes a non-linear story which is integrated into its game loop and the game loop basically is goes like this you start with the pre-run where you can level up with your perks and upgrade your ship components and prepare yourself for the upcoming missions you then move in game and do your various roguelike elements you can decide where you want to go whether you want to head to the dangerous nebula areas or regions like we're seeing here or progress more directly through the safe route towards the stations where you're about to refuel of course if you choose the more dangerous route you have the opportunity to get special uh, resources and special upgrades when you die you get to keep your credits and your blueprints but you lose resources and equipment but of course that puts you back to the start of the game loop where you can upgrade your ship again meaning progress really isn't lost at least not entirely and in between this loop you get the story which includes cutscenes flashbacks narratives and lore so what do I personally think of this well as rockfish have said this game is not a simulation and you probably know from the other games on my channel I very much like space simulators but I also like space shooters Free Space 2 was one of my favourite games of all time. Back then it was one of the best shooters, one of the space shooters ever made. And to this day it is still widely recognised as one of the best space shooters ever made. In fact the modding community go a long way in supporting that. And this game really does look like it's going to be that and so much more. So it's certainly going to be something that I'm going to be keeping an eye on. And you know what? I'm probably going to go ahead and back it as well. Like I say, please don't accept that as an endorsement. But you know, do go and have a look at their Kickstarter. They deserve at least that much. This past year or so has been absolutely great for games in the space genre. And it's nice to see them finally making the comeback in such a bold way. So we've got a lot to look forward to by the looks of it and I'm very excited as to what the future brings. We've got Everspace here and a whole slew of other games on the way. Now, as with pretty much all Kickstarter games, the release date for the game is a long way off. At the moment, it's scheduled for October 2016. Now, they may well hit that date, they may not. A lot of Kickstarters go way over their uh, release date, but there's others that always hit their goal. And Lately, Kickstarter may not have had all the successes it once had. It's gone past its golden era. And, you know, there's been a lot of big stories of a lot of Kickstarter failures, with most of which, or none of which I'm actually going to mention here. You probably would have heard of all of them. But there's also been a lot of successful Kickstarters that have released, uh, that have given us games that 
there's no way we would have otherwise had. Games like Elite Dangerous, which are just great. Games like Pillars of Eternity, which return us to the RPGs of yore. Games that no publisher nowadays would ever have published. So Kickstarter really has done, done us a world of favours. It's done the things it's set out to do. People always felt that at some point in the future, Kickstarter would bring us a world of new games, and that's exactly what it has done. And whilst there's been quite a lot of success, a lot of failures, I don't think they should be allowed to, to diminish the view on the successful games we've had. And hopefully, Everspace can be one of those. And so far I've found more often than not the games that can show you a lot of content up front are generally the ones that meet success. The ones that are a bit shady sometimes, the ones that can't show you a lot up front. That said, Elite Dangerous actually began its Kickstarter campaign without showing you anything. It didn't even have a video, it didn't even have any screenshots for the game. It just simply had a logo and that was it. And yet that game is perhaps one of the most successful Kickstarter releases so far. So it's always very refreshing to see a campaign come along that can show you as much content as this game is doing. Now, the game does seem to have some very high production values and of course, that doesn't give us any indication as to the final quality of the product, but it's certainly no bad thing, is it? Now, there is a lot of other gameplay elements to the game that I haven't actually mentioned. If you head on over to the Kickstarter page, which I will link at the end of the video, and I will also place a link in the video description for those of you that are watching on mobile viewers, uh, you can have a look at all the other gameplay elements that I haven't actually mentioned. It looks to be a game that has got quite a lot of depth to it. And I don't know how long it will actually last or how many hours people will play it for, but if it's anything like other roguelikes out there, it will be a game that people will probably play for months and months and be something that you always want to go back to. Now, I do think that this is perhaps one of the first roguelikes, if not the first roguelike, to have AAA production values. And that really shows how that particular genre is starting to take off. The game has also been greenlit on Steam, which means it will be available on the Valve Store. And Rockfish are also offering a DM-free copy of the game if you're back, which pledges start as low as 20 euros, which I suppose isn't too bad. I suspect the game will be cost more than that when it's actually released. So it's worth having to think about at the very least. And at the minimum, do go have a look at their Kickstarter. If nothing else, it's very exciting to see just how far the return of the space genre has come. A lot of new games on the way. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys and girls next time.